Hey everybody, Brian here from Overworld Games. I wanted to give you a quick update on the Leaders of Before You progress, and then uh, I also have some Raygun samples to show you. So stay tuned for that. Uh, first off, things are moving along really well. Uh, we've done, gone through uh, a few cycles of proofing, found a few, uh, few typos, uh, Panda found uh, some ways to make things clearer in the final version. That's one great thing about working with Panda. Um, they're extremely thorough, uh, and so they they were able to find um, some colors that we should tweak, um, change the, the colors a little bit, maybe make some lines a little bit thicker, um, and then just to adjust our print files to fit their their process, their machinery, that kind of thing. So that's what we've been doing. Um, we got the digital proofs from them, which is another good step. Um, we found just a couple more things that we wanted to change with those, um, and then sent the, the updated print files to them. And uh, so that part should be done. I believe we can say that digital proofing is complete. They are now making a physical copy for us. Uh, this is uh, called a pre-production copy. It's gonna be each component with, um, with probably a lower quality um, print on top of it. It's more to get a feel for the actual physical components now that we've gone through the digital looking at the print files. Um, so they're making that, that and uh, I should have that in about a week in a half, a little over a week probably. Um, so more on that in the next update. Um, so the reason why this is a video is to show you the ray guns, which are right over there. So let's take a look at those. Uh, first off, um, I want to give you a baseline. This is a good cop, bad cop gun. So it's chipboard. It's got a little plastic standee. Um, so in good cop, bad cop, you pick it up, you stand it up, and you aim it at a player. Um, <clears throat> the standard version of uh, Leaders of Euphoria is going to be similar. Uh, these are going to be custom cutouts, and of course they're going to be ray guns. Uh, but they're going to look similar to this. Um, for most of you who got a deluxe copy, they're going to be look a little bit different. We'll set that there. This is what we used uh, for the video, to shoot the video. Um, this is a 3D, uh, the actual model uh, that, that we're using. Um, and then it's a 3D, uh, we, we did make a couple, couple tweaks, but it's like not even noticeable uh, changes that we made. Um, <clears throat> so this is, this is kind of what we um, were, were thinking it was going to look like um, in the size and everything. So it's about that big. It's still pretty big. But then we completed our stretch goal to make them even bigger. So here are a couple of the bigger ray guns. Um, we've got the... Um, the lighter version and the darker version, so we voted on that. Um, you, uh, you wanted the lighter version. Uh, we think you're right. Uh, we think it is going to look a little bit better, so that's what we're doing, going with the lighter one. Um, so yeah, this is, look how, look how huge these things are. So compared to these, you're going to pick these up now and aim it at a player. Um, and oh, man, it's going to just feel so right. It's going to be amazing. Um, when, um, when we actually uh, got to hold these, there were a couple things we noticed. Um, one, they're lighter than we expected. It's actually a lighter um, plastic material than, than we, we were kind of envisioning for it. Um, but that is gonna, that allowed us to, to keep the shipping prices down um, on them. Um, but it is still a little bit lighter than, than we want. If we keep things the way they are, it's still gonna be amazing. But uh, Panda is looking into some ways to make it a little bit heavier. Um, and that's, that's probably to put some more weight into the base here. Um, and that's going to help with the other um, slight issue uh, that we found with it too. Um, and that is just that if you, it's a little bit front heavy because that can happen. Um, uh, it's not something that's going to happen a lot, but you know, it's one of those things to just, um, just to make it perfect. Uh, if we add a little bit of weight to the, the bottom, um, then it's going to help keep it upright all the time, and then also make it feel a little bit, a little bit more monumental when you pick up that gun and put it in front of you. So, a couple of things we're not sure if we're going to make it. Um, <clears throat> it's going to add, it's going to add weight to the box if we do that, um, which is going to dramatically increase shipping. Um, there is right now it's under two kilograms, um, and that two kilograms is a uh, that includes packaging of the box and everything. Um, if you go over that, uh, it, you, it's a threshold in some countries for cheaper shipping under 2 kilograms. Much more expensive, over 2 kilograms. 
Um, overall, it's going to bump us up into uh, a higher bracket for pretty much every copy that gets shipped out. So overall, it's going to be it's going to be thousands of dollars more uh, to ship if we do add that weight. So if we think it is going to be a noticeable difference, if Panda is even able to do it, um, then uh, it's something we're willing to do. Um, we wouldn't ask for any more money from you; it would just be something that we would uh, we would do. Um, we're not sure if we're going to do it. Um, so more to come on that. We'll let you know uh, about that decision. I mean, either way, these things are awesome. You're going to absolutely love them. Um, that's just one thing kind of interesting in the, in, the, in the production process. When you get it in your hand, uh, you, can, you can find some ways to make things even better. So more to come on that. Um, we'll also let you know in the next update. Well, probably not in the next update, but as soon as we have any specific dates about when manufacturing is going to start, when it's going to end, when freight shipping is going to start, when local shipping is going to start, that kind of thing. Uh, when we have more definitive dates um, that we're confident in, we're going to let you know what those are. But overall, things are on schedule. Things are looking great. And uh, more in the next update.